Okay, yeah. So, you know, this word is actually one word, but, you know, we played around with it and we, that's the way I do it when I we explain this principle. So we all have a mindset. We all have a mind and we all have a mindset. We all have a mind that is set upon something. That means that in this, in this industry, uh, but, you know, in any industry, in any any endeavor, any entrepreneurship, any business at all, uh, you know, you got to have your mind set up on something. And the, the, the way you set your mind up on things is the way it will be most of the time, 90% sure. That means that you got to you got to tell your mind, you got to put pictures in your mind, you're going to uh, read stuff, you're going to, like like right now, you're on this webinar. You had one mindset before the webinar, and right a couple of minutes in the webinar, you have a new mindset. You have new pictures, you have new energy, you have new ideas, and say, wow, yeah, I forgot about that, or I got to think about that next time. So our mind is a beautiful thing, but it could be our worst enemy if we don't treat it the way it should be treated. You know, it's all about the renewing of your mind uh, every day because we only live today. We don't live tomorrow or, or yesterday. Yesterday is gone. You can't change that. And tomorrow is not here. So it's now. We live in the now. That means you got to do it now, not later. And your mind could be your worst enemy. It depends on what kind of of strategy and uh, or um, uh, your your culture you're creating for yourself. So so when you think about this word mindset, you know, your mind is set up on what? Okay. So let's go to the next slide and see here. It's very important in this business because, you know, if your mind doesn't know where it shall go, it won't go nowhere. It starts with a thought, and you know we all have thoughts. You know how many how many have been thinking a little bit since you woke up this morning or during the day? Yeah, a couple. Good. So we all have thoughts. These thoughts, you know, the, a big thing that I learned from my mentor was that thoughts become uh, always become before the feelings. That means if you feel something, you have thought something. So it's not the feelings that rule human beings. It's the thoughts. But most people think that, oh, you know, have you heard people say like, I, I don't really feel like it or, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm, 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 I'm a little bit scared about that. Maybe it won't work. Yeah, that's the thoughts that they have had before they had those feelings. So if you're going to change your feelings, you're going to change your thoughts. That means you can't be successful with scareful thoughts. You can't be successful uh, with, with scareful feelings because if you think scarefully, you will have uh, scareful feelings or doubt feelings or whatever. So, so thoughts become before the feelings. Always, always. That's, that's no, this is no uh you know made up stuff this is actually science you know you can go to any psychology or uh, you know science can can um can uh, put a, a, a exclamation mark on this so thoughts feelings so what becomes after feelings you think yeah exactly your feelings will, will determine your actions that means if you're low on energy, your actions will be low. If you're high on energy, you know, if you're, wow, what a beautiful day, new opportunities. I'm going to contact new people. I'm going to work with these guys and I'm going to start creating leadership, build my team and so on and so on. You know, and, and it's so important because also thoughts are a disease. You know, your people will catch your thoughts without you knowing it. They will actually uh, catch your thoughts, which means they will catch your feelings. So that's why a leader 
always need to be upbeat, positive, you know, solve problems. You know, you can't tell people, oh, you know, there's no use. We can't, blah, 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 blah. you know, that's not leadership. You don't tell people that. You always tell people positive uh, problem solving, you know, stuff. Because that's the way to do business. And, you know, sometimes we need to go down and just, you know, be, uh, you know, uh, make it simple. You know, like if we're going to start, you and me, we're going to start a gas station together. If we're going to start a gas station, is it good if we are positive when the customers come in or are we going to be angry or, you know, bitter or, you know, have a bad attitude when people join, come to our store? How many people will come back? Or another example. Uh, the discipline of the of the gas station we're opening. We're 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 only there, you know, in between three to five and seven to six on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's how we treat our business. Would that be a, a successful uh, gas station business? Of course not. And the same thing with this business. People people tend to think that this is a uh, another rules. Because we're just we we're building a network, or there are another rules just because we we're online, we get people fired up, you know, in the back office they make money. Yeah, you can make money, but you will not keep the money if you don't change. That's a rule in the universe. So thoughts, feeling, action, and then what? Result. So this is so simple when you when you see it like this. And many of you leaders, you already know this. I know, I know. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking, just give you an, a reminder, or I'm talking to the new people because s s most people, they know this, but they don't know this. You know, you get it? They know this, but they don't know this. So you always have a result of this first thought that started. Thought, feeling, action, result. It's It's not like, you know, bad thought bad feeling bad action good result no 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 so it follows like day follow the night so that's why it's so important people if you realize that we need goals we need positive pictures that's why you know when you have when you have goals it's not it's just it's not for being special or you know try to show off to your team or your organization or you know look at me how you know good i am because this business is about helping other people reach their goals because listen to me if you help 5 10 20 30 people to reach their goals do you think you will reach your goals so it's more more important to help other people reach their goals because if they reach their goals, you will reach your goals automatically. But back to thoughts. Okay, so when you look at these pictures that we have in front of you now, uh, is that giving you any positive, you know, affirmations or any positive feelings inside? May, may, some of you have qualified already for the first cruise. You can see the cruise ship there. And you can just imagine, you know, how our mind is powerful. We can imagine things. You can go and say, wow, I'm on this boat. You know, the sun is shining. I'm taking a dip in the pool. And, you know, there's food everywhere. And, you know, there's uh, uh, positive crowd one members. And there's leadership trainings and releasing new promotions. and Or the car you're going to buy or the bitcoins that you earn. It a picture will create a feeling because we think in pictures. We don't think in words. We think in pictures. So your mind is is uh, taking in pictures. You know, your mind is creating pictures which create feelings. So that's why goals are so important. That's why when you talk to people, uh, facts is not as important as uh, you know uh, pictures making people feel something okay so go to the next picture next slide so why is it that people that most people are not you know successful you sh you know initially it would be like this we have a webinar we are 
several hundred on this webinar. And I do this training. You should just follow the training, go out, do it, and be successful. So why is it that people don't? I don't know. Well, in Crowd1, most people are actually successful because we, we have this beautiful uh, business idea and we have the best trainings in the world. But still, there are people who are, are fighting or you know struggling. And that's because they learn from, from childhood that it's better to flee than to fight. You know, you always have a choice in life. Every day, every minute, you have a choice. Listen to this. You get a you get a, a text or an email or a, you know something on your phone from your upline team member telling you there's a webinar. You know how many people? Uh, there's actually five five times more people signed up for this webinar than joined this webinar. Wow, five times. We're several hundred on this webinar. You know that five times more people signed up, but they're not here. Why is it? They made a choice. I understand that some people couldn't make it because there was this and that and blah, blah, blah. But you know, you gotta be disciplined and you're gonna plan ahead. And you're gonna, if you, if you need, if you think you need information uh, or maybe you know it all, maybe if you know it all, then you don't have to be on these webinars or you don't have to do nothing because you know it all. You can just be multi-successful without anyone helping you at all. But we always have a choice. We always have an option. Every minute, you know, it's not only to get on these webinars, it's picking up that phone, sending that email, talking to the people, uh, reading the right books, saying the right things. Because these choice that we make every day, are those results if you if we now go to the next slide again you can see you can either flee or you can fight most people they they choose um uh flee you know because it's more comfortable okay uh not one more one more let me see yeah so so I, this picture i wanted so if you if you think about your choices you got to help your team making the right choices. You're going to help your team getting the right thought, who creates the right feeling, who creates the right action and the right results. And so now we can go back to dream big because it's all about dreaming big. We are leaders. You are leaders who are on this webinar uh, today, or at least upcoming leaders. Then you're going to behave and treat your business like uh you're you know you're married to this business you know you're committed you're committed you can't be halfway in halfway through i hear people they think that the the opportunity is to be in as many opportunities as possible <clears throat> wrong you can't you can't focus you got to focus on one thing if you're in several businesses at one time how can you success how can you are you going to tell people well it's going to be like we're in uh, several businesses at the same time because uh, we divide our focus and we divide our energy and would then it's not going to be anything because your people gonna gonna copy you they're gonna duplicate which be, it, it, it means chaos you gotta stay in one thing you're going to do one thing only focus on one thing building one business then if you don't like it and you don't you don't think it's good enough move on to the next one i don't care but you got to do one thing to succeed okay next picture the next slide again so it's why do i have the picture dream big well when you are a leader you will help your people uh get the right mind set get the right right mind set up on what could it be? Well, just a couple of examples. It could be the next cruise. If you don't, didn't qualify for this cruise, you help them get the right mindset up on the next cruise. And you break it down. What, what do you need to do? You got to reach this level. You need to have this many people. You got to sign up your personal sponsored and so on and so on. You got to do this many. You know, when I started, 
I had great help from from uh, my first uh, sponsor in this business, and he made he 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 taught me a simple lesson. He said, "You got to do a number of presentations every day, and you stick to that. You don't you don't you know do one one day and then nothing one day and then two another day and then nothing and then nothing and then one." He said, "You got to do you got to stick." to a number and you do it every day, choose a number. And he said, you gotta do at least five presentations a day. And he said, if you miss one, one day, then you're gonna make it up the ne another day, the next day. That means if you did, you, you set for five, you did four, you gotta do six the next day. That's how he taught me. And it was a valuable lesson because it made me come up to a pace that was, uh, you know, and then become a habit because we are we are humans. We're habits. You know, we everything we do we do by habitual thinking, habitual working. Everything we do are habits, either bad habits or good habits, either are good thoughts or bad thoughts. And you can see if you have a bad habit, bad thought, bad feeling, bad action, bad result, and then. People who have that kind of uh, thinking will always blame it on someone else. No, yeah, it wasn't my fault. It was my, it was my sponsor. It was the weather. It was you know the country I was living in. Or whatever. No, 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 no. That's the beauty of life. We can. We always have a choice. You know, we can flee or we can fight. And if you are disciplined enough to fight for it, you will get it. So this is some kind of a uh, couple of ideas that you can uh, bring to your team and help them create. And, and I know most of you already know this, but that's how this works. We bring up examples every Sunday and some are, you know, uh, you never heard of and most you probably heard of, but we will just remind you. So it's a reminder, you know, how to build this business and see what, if we have another slide here. No, that was it. Okay. So, so guys, crowd one, what an opportunity. Uh, you know, I have never seen such an opportunity in my lifetime and how it works. We're, we're coming up on 300,000 members and we have just been around for a couple of months. Well, it's coming up on, let me see, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So yeah, six months a little bit more than six months you know uh this is unbelievable and you know if you haven't realized what's coming this is just the beginning we're just getting started we're just getting started it's gonna be you're doing good you're all doing great you know all the leaders in africa you know mr